So this is where we are now. We're really delving back into Caillou again. Since my first video, I found a lot of people have a ton of hatred for this character, just as I do. However, some of you have such disturbing violent fantasies towards this character's suffering that I wouldn't be surprised if there are a few glowies attracted to the comments section. So uh, just watch who you come in contact with. Surprisingly, there were a few Caillou defenders in the comments as well. I don't know, maybe they grew up with him and have nostalgia? Your guess is as good as mine. A lot of these people were saying, Oh, Caillou stopped being a brat after season blank, or whatever. I find these comments incredibly odd because it either means these guys didn't even watch the video before commenting, or they just didn't pay attention. I actually 100% agree with these people. It is a bit unfair that the hundreds of episodes of Caillou get a reputation about being centered around this terrible, unruly child when Caillou stops being as bratty as the series progresses. However, you would literally know I said this because in less than two minutes into the original video I bring this up. As in before I even start talking shit. Basically, Caillou has the reputation of being a brat, but admittedly, he isn't always a brat. After the first voice actors died, Caillou seemed to have chilled out a bit, and progressively as the series progresses, he becomes less bratty. Now just because Caillou stops being as bratty does not mean the show is good. Hell no. The biggest problem with Caillou for me is that the show is so goddamn boring. Like, at least when Caillou was getting on my nerves throwing tantrums, it wasn't boring me. For most of the show, you basically have a slice of life show, but none of the characters are interesting. Every adult in this show basically has the exact same role and personality, but they're just slightly different looking and gender swap. I'm not saying Caillou needs to be a deep character study or anything, but there's a reason why people grow up and look fondly back on shows they liked as a kid and not Caillou. Except for those handful of guys in the comments, I guess. Caillou is a show for kids, but does that mean it has to be boring? Many kids shows feature unique characters, fantastical worlds, and stuff that really catches a kid's imagination. Caillou has none of that. Even the scenes where Caillou is daydreaming or whatever, they're just not that creative. It's just an incredibly dull show that doesn't even try to make itself entertaining. I know little kids like it, but come on, little kids will watch most of the stuff you throw in front of them. You could probably put the August Underground Trilogy in front of a two-year-old and they'd have the same reaction to if you put any other kids show. Uh, don't actually show any kids August Underground, by the way. No. If you're gonna show them something disturbing, then you gotta go all the way. Show them the Angel's Melancholy or Slaughtered Vomit Dolls or something. Really show them what life has in store for them. Uh, don't show them Say Hello or Cannibal Holocaust until they're at least five years old. And maybe six years older for Pink Flamingos because you definitely need to be a bit older to fully understand the nuances and themes that are present in that. Now I know some of you may be asking me about a Serbian film, and I personally think a kid should be at least nine wait, years wait, old before- Wait, wait, why do you have such a vast knowledge on so many disgusting movies? Uh, moving on. Maybe grandma will take the kids to the zoo or watch TV. Oh, of guys. course, story time. What else could we possibly want to do? Let's see where Caillou went today. Hopefully to hell. Caillou at daycare. Such a riveting story idea. I cannot wait. I don't want to go, mommy. I want to stay with you. Oh, I had a fun couple of months where I didn't have to think about Caillou's voice. Hello, I'm Ann Martin, the teacher. And you must be Caillou. 
I like how Doris doesn't even say hello or introduce herself. Here, Caillou. Have a glass of apple juice. Okay, so I want you guys at home to take a wild guess for me. Which of these blocks are actually going to be animated and which are just part of the background? Which one is Caillou going to pick up? Just think long and hard here. Hey! Those are my blocks! Mommy! <laughs> You're never going to see... Mommy! ...again. Your mommy's gone. Caillou at least isn't the brattiest kid in this episode this time, I'll give you that. By the way, I've seen a few room temperature IQ people get mad at me and other people who talked about Caillou because, oh, this is how kids act. This is another thing I mentioned in the first video, so let me make it clear. I do not have a problem with writing realistic kids. The problem is that the kids almost never face punishment or even learn their lesson about acting like brats. This is a show for kids. And if they just see characters acting like assholes and never having that behavior corrected, then they have no reason to think that is it an okay way to act. At no part of this episode does Miss Martin scold Leo for acting rude. So what is a kid supposed to think? If someone touches your blocks, it's okay to snatch them out of the other kid's hands? I know that Caillou is shown to be upset here, but really little kids probably don't have the emotional intelligence to put two and two together and come to the conclusion that Leo's behavior is bad because it made Caillou cry. You have a narrator that explains literally every fucking thing in this piece of shit cartoon, yet you couldn't get her to say what Leo did was wrong or any of the bullshit Caillou does? I think a positive example I could use of a kid's show or at least something that's for kids Having a realistic kid character but still doing it well is like probably the original Lion King. Now I'm not exactly the biggest fan of this movie, but I mean, I'm not gonna say that Confused Matthew was right about it. I actually do think Simba was a well-written character, but they had him, even though he acted bratty at points in this movie, they still had him learn his lesson and learn what he did was wrong. So a kid watching this movie wouldn't try to emulate Simba being a brat, or at least shouldn't, because they see the negative repercussions that happen to acting that way, and they see him grow up and mature. Hi, I'm Clementine. What's your name? Uh, Caillou? That's a fucking stupid name, kid. Do you want to play? I'm doing cutout. Here's an apple, and that's a banana. You can't eat them, though. They're only pretend. Do you like daycare? Do you ever shut up? I like staying at my grandma's better. That's where you stay when your mom and dad are busy? She's an artist. And I get to play with paints, and brushes, and paper, and crayons, and chalk, and colored pencils. Damn, she just fucked off mid-sense. Savage as hell. We got all that stuff here. Oh, boy! Yeah, in real life, the paints would be all dried up, and the brushes would have, like, two bristles left on them. Don't act like I don't know what a frickin' daycare looks like. I'm going to paint, a uh, a robin. See what I mean? The kid could paint literally anything and he just picks a damn bird and not even like a cool bird like an eagle or something, just a robin. Kid's got no imagination. I'll do cutouts of what robins eat. That's worms! They eat fruits too, but I guess the worm's easier to cut out. C could you teach me how to paint like that? They could have had Leo apologize for his earlier behavior, but no. This show is just allergic to ever having kids be held accountable for the shitty things they do. Caillou! Do they really both need to yell for him? He's like, he's standing right there. Look, I'm making a castle! <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. What's the joke here? Why is everyone laughing? Just look at Caillou. I try not to. Mommy and Daddy were going out for a special dinner. I want to go with you. Oh my god, shut up! Caillou, it's our anniversary. That's a special day for Mommy and Daddy. But we have something special for you and Rosie too. A brand new babysitter. Isn't that nice? Damn, I'm not gonna lie, Boris has the drip. <laughs> That must be Julie now. I'll go and let her in. I don't like Julie. Julie was a new babysitter. Caillou wanted his regular babysitter. So he made up his mind he wasn't going to like Julie at all. Hi Caillou, I'm Julie. Okay, so I mean no offense to anyone named Julie, but I'm never going to be able to hear that name without thinking of... Julie! Doesn't your mommy look pretty 
in her dress? And doesn't your daddy look smart in his tuxedo? Well, if he was smart, he would have used condoms four years ago. Let's wave goodbye. What? They drove off. I don't want any supper. I don't want any supper, too. Oh, fuck you, Rosie. One is bad enough. Stay the hell out of it. Caillou, you have to eat your supper. You can't make me. I have an idea. What the hell was that? Her face went through like three different emotions at once. Your mommy and daddy are going out for a special anniversary supper. So why don't we do the same? You want to go on an anniversary dinner with a child. Okay, Himeno. Now you look just as handsome as your daddy. Do I really? You bet. Caillou discovered he was starting to like Julie. Yeah, that's usually a symptom of grooming. Are we making groomer jokes? No, we're past that. Why do you act like you're so above funny puns and raunchy jokes? I'm not, but there's a time and a place for that. I'm in the middle of my analysis. It's very important. I don't know. I, I think, think the viewers, viewers prefer when I make jokes. Well, I think I would know the viewers better than you, Joe. This is my show, after all. What, what about, about the poll back, back in December? December? You really gotta bring that up again? Really, Joe? Now let's go and make Rosie look as nice as your mommy. The thing is, she's already in the new dress. Did they make a mistake? Gilbert! Hold it! <laughs> Caillou liked Julie's dressing up game. But he still didn't care very much for salad. Honestly, I can't really blame him. Who the hell gives a four-year-old a whole plate of salad for dinner? I'm not really the biggest salad fan either. I'd eat it as a side, but like a whole meal? I don't want any supper. I don't want any supper too. <laughs> Why is Rosie way more easygoing than Caillou is? Like, she's probably a joy to be around. I guess I'll have to apologize for what I said earlier. Sorry, Rosie. Well, if you don't want supper, why don't we have breakfast instead? Huh? How can we have breakfast? It's supper time. It's easy. Yeah, well, maybe you should ask that shit to fucking McDonald's when they make me wait 15 minutes and then go, Oh, it's actually 11.01. No more breakfast. Fucking assholes. Just kidding. I don't eat McDonald's breakfast. That shit is nasty. McSoryu's, though. Now that shit is the bomb. Too bad there's the possibility of being physically assaulted when trying to order. From now on, everything's going to be the opposite way around. You'll see. The breakfast is literally the only thing they do that's the opposite way around, by the way. Mm. Again, with the damn boiled eggs. That's the only thing Canadians eat for breakfast, apparently. Yeah, you know maple syrup? That shit ain't for pancakes over there. I don't know what they use it for, but it's not pancakes. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Julie. Did you all have as much fun as we did? Damn, things were getting a bit steamy between Boris and Doris, huh? Rosie and Caillou aren't the only ones to call Boris daddy, if you know what I mean. We had breakfast! Really? But what about your supper? I thought they could have their supper tomorrow, if that's alright. No, it's not fucking alright! I'm sure that'll be fine, Julie. Just a guaranteed tantrum tomorrow. Why are you in such a mood? You're like Earl. Come on, Joe, at least I have a good reason. You can never get Earl to cheer up, unless you drown a puppy or something. You, you have, have a point there. there. Remember yesterday? God, I fucking hate everyone. Hey, Earl. Steam deck? Now it's a steam dick. Oh, 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 why don't you do something productive like castrating yourself? Fine. I'll show it to Joe. I bet he'll find it funny. Hey Joe. What? Steam deck? Now it's a steam dick. <laughs> That's hilarious. How did you come up with that? I don't know. That kind of thing just happens in my mind. Earl didn't think it was funny. Yeah, well, who cares what Earl thinks? That is comedy gold right I there. am not a religious man, but if there is a god, please erase us two fucking morons from existence. Now, what have we here? It looks a bit like Caillou. Grandpa! Grandpa! What are you doing in there? I'm stuck! This, this is how many pornos begin. begin. 
Joe, you're pushing it. Hiding in a hiding place, eh? That reminds me of something. Caillou wondered what Grandpa was going to tell him. Honestly, I feel like just having Caillou ask, what are you thinking of, would be less insulting to the intelligence of the kids than to just have the narrator say it. Can you keep a secret, Caillou? Yes, Grandpa. Well, I know where there's a special hiding place. In the garden. Would you like to see it? Is he going to show him a body? He just might. I'm sure this is the right tree. Seriously, you can see the big gaping hole from the goddamn house. I know Grandpa's probably losing it in his old age, but jeez, is that embarrassing. I do like how for whatever reason they didn't put Caillou in this shot, so you just have Grandpa walking around the tree completely alone. It's the best special hiding place in the world, Grandpa! Thank you, Grandpa! Did Grandpa just scream for a second when Caillou hugged him? I guess I'd do the same thing. So you may be thinking, you know, Caillou really isn't acting bratty or annoying in this episode. Well, I guess the writers just could not fucking help themselves. No, you can't come with me. <laughs> that was necessary. This was Caillou's special hiding place. He didn't want anyone else to know about it. But literally everyone does. Caillou, are you in there? You better come in the house. When I first saw this, I really hoped Grandpa was going to yell at Caillou for making Rosie cry, but uh, of course he doesn't. What is it? Well, believe it or not, Caillou, that's a toy that belonged to me when I was a little boy, just like you. And when I was a daddy, just like your daddy. You gotta give Boris props for being able to recognize a toy he left in a tree some 20, 30 years ago from across the room. We might as well talk about how racist this kid is, too. Hello there, monkey! Whoa! Whoa! Okay! Clementine, stupid! Yeah, you're stupid! <laughs> no, I'm not! Of course it's the black kid they team up on. Caillou! Ni hao! What? You think Caillou is bald because of cancer? What if it was just him being a goddamn skinhead? You see this? That means not welcome. Is this gonna be like a trend with you? What do you mean? Well, you did a Fight Club reference last episode and this one, and also American History X. Both movies with Edward Norton in them. Maybe you're right. Um, actually, Caillou isn't racist, and it's a fucking joke. Caillou is a piece of shit show. Fuck you. Caillou sucks. Fuck the annoying bald bastard. I don't want to talk about him anymore. This is like the third episode that's been fucking Caillou related. I'm done. No more. Okay. No more. Unless this video gets good views like the previous one did. This is Monkey D. Ruhi. Thank you.